get away, to relax from the stresses and strains of a rainy day, but with a nice warm bath. Oh, yes. The warm water, the soapy bubbles, and the dripping. Wait a minute. Dripping? Oh, no, the roof's leaking. When Richard finds out the caravan's leaking, he's not going to be very happy. The rain makes him grumpy at the best of times. Yes, that's true. What is it, Sweep? You found a leak in the kitchen. <laughs> not that sort of leak sausage brain. Try this. I meant try the pan to catch the water. Yeah, there. Yeah. That should keep Richard happy. I am not happy. I think I spoke too soon. Oh, hello there. Do you know, I hate the rain. Hello. Oh, hello, gang. Mr Slater's having closed the park. That rain is torrential. Yes, it is. Do you know, I can still hear the sound of rain in my ears. It's almost like it's raining in here. <laughs> it is. There's a hole in the bedroom ceiling. <laughs> All right. Hang on, what did you just say? There's a hole in the bedroom ceiling. Oh, no! That's all we need. A leaky roof on a rainy day. You put the pans there to catch the rain. Well, that's very good. But what are you going to do when they fill up? Well, that's no good, is it? We're going to have to call the repairman. Come on! Mind you, I'm not sure a repairman's going to want to come out on a miserable day like this. No. Hey, you'll fix the leaks. You're experts. Oh, no, we've heard that before. You'll start with the leak in the bedroom and you'll fix the leak in the bathroom. What leak in the bathroom? Excellent, boys. Get to it. Hang on a minute. What leak in the bathroom? This gets worse. Richard, all you do is moan, moan, moan. Now, Sooty will fix it, so come on. It's only a little bit of rain. But I hate the rain, Sue. It's so wet. Ceiling, Richard will be pleased. But how are you going to fix the leak in the bathroom? Oh, ho, a splat gun! Aha! That's very clever. Oh. oh, it's still leaking a bit though, Sooty. What's that? One more splat should do it. Oh, good. Oh, I can't wait to have a drip free bath. Okay, here we go then. Three, two, one, uh, two! Oh dear, sorry, sweep. Are you all right? 
You got splattered! Oh, but he was aiming for a big drip! <laughs> Cheer up, Richard! At least it's not raining indoors, thanks to Sooty and Sweet's repairs. Sue, I don't want to spend the whole afternoon cooped up in the caravan. Hey, why don't we play charades? Oh. oh, yes, wonderful! I do love a good game of charades. Oh, oh go on, Richard, it'll be fun! Oh, all right, anything to help pass the time. But you have to promise to stop moaning, Richard. You've been a right moaning mini. I have not been a moaning mini. In fact, I bet you can't make it through charades without moaning about something. Of course I can. Do you promise? Yes, all right, I promise. <laughs> Just listen to that terrible Richard? Ra pounding on that. Richard? Hey? Oh, not moaning. Not moaning. Good. Now, Sooty, you go first. Remember the rules? Sooty's got to act out a job, and we all have to guess what kind of job it is. OK? Off you go, Sooty. Um, swaying? Uh, a sea captain. <coughs> well, Sooty, I'm stumped. Come on, what are you supposed to be? A bus driver. Hey, eh? Who's a circus clown in his spare time? <laughs> a bus driver who's a circus clown in his spare time? Less of the bowing, that's ridiculous. How are any of us supposed to get that? Now, now, Richard, remember your promise. <laughs> no moaning? Oh, of course, sorry. Moaning me, no. Just listen to that awful red... Richard! Hey. Not moaning. Not moaning. What's going on? Oh, no, now there's a leak in the kitchen ceiling! Uh, Richard! Your promise! My promise? <laughs> no moaning? But there's a ceiling Come leak! Come on now, Richard! A promise is a promise is a promise! Oh, yes! A promise is a promise is a promise! I mean, why should I moan? I can stand here and eat my lunch, can't I? Who ever cared about a spring thing of water? I mean, who cares if there's a great downpour of water? We're not being... I love all that me. I just love it. I mean, who cares if I can eat my warm it? I mean, just as much as the bread is soggy, I can have a salad. In fact, I can even wash the salad myself. I can have a shower. See, it's great. I can drink my coffee, and if it's too hot, I can fill it up. It can cool it down. Who cares? It's just water. And if I want to read the paper, it's all good. I can check the weather forecast. Oh, look at that. It's going to rain. That's absolutely brilliant, because I just love it, me. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm not moaning at all. In fact, I'm going to phone the plumber right now. Hello? Is that the plumber? Hello? Yes, can you come round and fix our leak? Three months? Oh, that's no problem. No, I'm not being sarcastic. You take your time. Goodbye. See, I'm not moaning me. Not moaning at all. So, can I just have one tiny, itty, witty little moan, please? Yes, well, we'll allow you one, Richard, yes. I'm not one to draw attention to this or moan, but there's a huge hole in the ceiling! <laughs> oh dear! I do hope this hasn't dampened your spirits even more, Richard. What's <laughs> up? It's so wet in here, we may as well be outside. Do you know what? You might be right. but I'm really glad it's sunny again. Yes, I agree, Richard. And from now on, I am not going to moan about a drop of water. No. 
stop! 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 <laughs> no, Richard! No moaning! <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. bye. Oh, hello there. and then they have to try and sell them to the boss. Hello, I'm Gerald Smedley and I'm looking for £20,000 for my invention, the Scratcher Catcher. Yay! Oh, I can't wait to see what the boss thinks of this. Oh, yes. £20,000. I wouldn't give you 20,000 pence for that. I'll give you some advice, Sunshine. It's a waste of your time. And more importantly, it's a waste of my time. So I'm out. So you get out. Ridiculous. Hello, gang. I'm sorry I'm late, but I've been... <laughs> all right, all right. Mr Slater had me giving out food at the duck pond. I wish he'd give me more responsible jobs. Maybe he thinks I'm stupid. Not as stupid as the man that's just been on the inventions game, Richard. Hey, maybe I should go on the inventions game. Why? To prove to Mr Slater that I'm really clever so he'd give me better jobs. But, Sooty, I am not an inventor. You are. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Great idea, Richard. Sooty will make a brilliant invention and you'll look like a genius. That'll show old Grumpy Trousers Slater. This could be your big beak. Uh, I mean break, break. What if Mr Slater doesn't watch the inventions game? He does. And how do you know that? <laughs> You've just sent him a text. What? Oh, now it's ringing. Oh, it's Mr Slater. Uh, hello, sir. You've just heard I'm going on the inventions game. Yes, so have I. I better win, or I'll ruin the reputation of Slater's, and you'll give me the sack, but, but, uh, oh, he's gone. Oh. Sometimes that bear drives me crackers. Shouldn't that be quackers, Richard? <laughs> right, Sooty, let's have a look at your inventions, and they better be good. Allow you to introduce the great brain machine. Wow! Just ask the machine one very hard question and it will answer it. OK, are you ready? Yes. What's this? That was my very hard question. It was not my very hard question, smarty pants. Do you think I'm stupid? Yes. The machine thinks I'm stupid. Right then, I'll give it a hard question. Ha <laughs> ha. If you had 70,924 divided by the square root of 67, what would be the equation if you times it by 3, eh? The machine says, can I go a bit slower? Can I go a bit slower? All right. If you had 70,924 divided it by the square root of 67... What? The machine says, can it borrow a calculator? Well, well all right then. There's one on my phone. If you had 70,009... Hang on a minute. The machine wants to borrow a calculator. And why would the machine need to borrow a calculator? Don't know. And does this machine like bones by any chance? And what would this machine think if I took all of its bones and put them in the dustbin? I knew it. Well, you're going to have to come up with a better invention than sweeping a box. What's this, then? Imagine you can't reach something. The hover chair will solve the problem. You just need Sweep to demonstrate it. <laughs> Imagine Sweep wants to reach a paint pot high on a shelf. You simply enter the coordinates and he hovers up gently. Come on, then, let's see this chair hover up gently. No good, is it? Oh no. Oh no, what's this? 
The nightmare of cleaning is over with the new electronic scrubbing brush. You just need someone to demonstrate it. Another cracker. Mm. Hey, do I want to see any more of your inventions? No, I do not. Mm. There's only one way round this. I'm going to have to invent something myself. This time, it's up to me. You can't wait to see Richard's invention? No, neither can I. Mm. I've finally done it, gang. I have an invention that will win us the inventions game. Oh, well done, Richard. Come on in and I'll show you. Mm. Allow me to present the instant outfitting machine. Ooh. All I do is enter the coordinates like this, step into the machine, and watch. Ta da! <gasps> it's amazing, Richard. <laughs> now imagine I want to go out for the night. All I do is enter the coordinates like this, I step into the box, and watch. Ta -da! <laughs> Any outfit you can think of is programmed in that machine. It will revolutionise the way we dress in the morning. <laughs> hey, Sudi, you think you can safely say, we will win the inventions game? <laughs> Yippee! Oh, don't worry, Richard. You've got a fantastic invention. I'm sure you'll really impress the boss. I'm out. Get out and stay out. <laughs> oh, I'll have to take my instant light switcher on elsewhere. <laughs> OK, Mr Cadell, the boss will see you now. Oh, no. Here we go. Uh, good evening. <laughs> Have you ever woken up in the morning and thought, Oh, what shall I wear? Um, shall I wear trousers or a skirt? Oh, I'm so confused. If I wore a skirt, I'd be confused. Cut to the chase, son. What do you want me to invest my money in? Right, is everything set, boys? <laughs> oh, you've dropped your bone into the machine. Oh, no. Sooty, is there any damage? OK, we're ready for you now. Oh, dear. I hope the machine's OK. <laughs> Allow me to present the instant outfitting machine. And if you choose my machine as the winner, mm -hmm. then I can safely say you'll hear the sound of money rolling in. Uh, blimey. I can hear something rolling out. <laughs> yes. Business will be booming. What do you say to that? Your machine took the words right out of my mouth. Come on, son, show me what it does. Yes, uh, please observe. Um, here we have Sweep, who wants to work on a building site. Sooty enters the coordinates. Sweep enters the machine. And hey, presto, here he emerges fully dressed as a builder. Where's the building site? Fairyland? Uh, <laughs> here we have Sue, who is about to work as an air hostess. Yes, I've always wanted to be an air hostess. <laughs> here I go. Oh! Oh, no! Who does she work for? Monkey Airways? Uh, oh. I'm so sorry. There must be something wrong with the machine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> that is the funniest invention I have ever seen. I didn't know until Sooty told me that you were acting being a total fool. I will invest my money in your laughter machine, and I declare you winners of the inventions <laughs> game. <laughs> Well done! <laughs> well done, Sooty. Telling the boss that this was a laughter machine was a stroke of genius. Hey, it was probably the best invention of the day. I certainly agree. Where's the phone? 
It's Mr. Slater. Hello, Mr. Slater. You've just seen me on the Inventions game. Maybe a promotion? Oh, thank you. Oh, it's gone. Ooh. Come on, Sutty. Push those buttons. I can't wait to have a go and miss myself. Everyone's going to be talking about this. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Hello there. Mr. Slate has put me in charge of the annual dog show where owners bring their dogs to compete for the grand prize. Richard, all these dogs are so beautiful. How do you pick a winner? Well, Sue, there's tests in agility, skill, and health and fitness. Oh. And then the best dogs win the prizes. Oh. What's that, Sooty? You're going to win a prize today. <laughs> I don't think so, Sooty. To win a prize in a dog show, you need a champion dog. You've got a champion dog. Oh, no. Don't stand a chance with that sausage brain. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Champ? More like chump. <laughs> you can't enter Sweet for this competition. He can't even fetch a stick. Eh? Oh, yes, he can. He can't. And what's more, I'll prove it. Fetch, Sweet! Fetch! <laughs> what's the point? I don't know, actually. Anyway, you're not supposed to argue with me. I'm your master. You see, a well-trained dog would have fetched that stick straight away. I told you, Sooty, this is hopeless. <laughs> now, don't fetch! Don't fetch! Don't fetch! Ha! <laughs> ah, you see, sir, I didn't actually throw the stick. It, it wasn't me. It was a... <laughs> Hey, eh? You see, he can fetch. Yes, he can, when he's not supposed to. Oh, Sooty, there's no point in entering Sweep into this competition. He needs a trainer. <laughs> You've got a trainer. <laughs> not that kind of trainer, you bone brain. You need someone to shout, walkies and heal. <laughs> not that kind of heal, you bone brain. Oh, Sweep, shoo, shoo. <laughs> Hey, you'll be his trainer. Oh, Sooty, you don't understand how difficult it is. Sweep will never complete the doggy agility course. Just look at it. Hey, no problems. When it comes to dog training, you're an expert. You're the original dog whisperer. <laughs> Listen, I'll make you a bet. If Sweet wins a prize here today, I'll dress up as a dog and I'll do that doggy agility course myself. <laughs> it's a deal. Right, you're on. <laughs> oh, look, here comes our judge, Jeanette Crankett. Hello, Mr. Cadell. Hope all is tickety-boo with the old contest. What, what? <laughs> What's he saying? He said, can he enter the contest, please? Oh, yes. Splendid. What, what? <laughs> What's the little fella saying now? He said, um, can he enter the contest, please? Yes, we've established that. Enter the contest by all means. What, what? <laughs> what did he say? Why do you keep saying what? I shall not say what. I'm obviously confusing the little fellow. But yes, you can enter the contest. What, what? There you go, Sweet. Are you happy or what? <coughs> what? <coughs> what, what? Don't you start. Right, Sooty, Sweep's in, so you better start training. And good luck. You're going to need it. <laughs> oh. Hello, Mr Cranky. Where's your dog? Oh, he got sick. Oh, dear. And I took him to the vet. Uh -huh. I got his tail jammed in the door. Oh dear. And then we sat down beside a man with a cat, and the cat scratched his eyes. Oh, what's his name? Lucky. <laughs> Not very fun, Dabby Dozy, that, is it? <laughs> now, look at that.
dog sweep. See how obedient he is? Is it remote control? Oh, no, of course it isn't, Bone Brain. Sit. Yes, Sooty? Let's start with sitting. Now, Sweep, the first thing Sooty is going to teach you is how to sit. Oh, not on a chair, Sausage Brain. Oh. Auntie, good boy. If only Sweep could do that. Well, let's try it. Sweep, we're going to try staying. So, you stay there, Sweep, till we call you. Stay. Uh, stay. Where's he gone? What? What are you doing there? You're supposed to stay over there. You don't like it over there. Why ever not? <laughs> there was a draft on your bottom. <gasps> oh, I'll tell you something, Sooty. You've hit rock bottom. You'll never win a prize with that daft dog. Ha-ha! How's the uh, training going? Come on, Mr Expert, show me something. No big. Good boy. Sweep will now demonstrate begging. Oh, come on then, Sweep, beg. <laughs> you don't know how to beg. <laughs> I knew it. Actually, it's very easy. Just watch me. All you do is you go down on all fours, put your paws up like this and pant like this. <laughs> What's a good boy then? <laughs> oh, Richard, he's been working like a dog. <laughs> And a warm welcome to Slater's Dog Show. We're very honoured to have with us this afternoon Senior Judge Miss Jeanette Cranker. <laughs> Jeanette will firstly be judging the health section. Tell us, Jeanette, what are you specifically looking for? Well, Richard, one thing is very representative of a healthy dog is an impressive shiny coat. been told the next dog has a particularly impressive coat. <laughs> sweep! Sweep! Get off! You're spoiling the whole thing! Go on off! No, not that way! Category, we'll be testing the dog's attitude to music. Watch this demonstration. was born to dance. You is Snoop Doggy Doo Doo. Agility. Oh, I've just been told the next dog is particularly athletic. Oh. 
And now we come to the official prize giving ceremony. Remember my promise? If Sweet wins a prize, I have to dress up as a dog and do the agility course myself. <laughs> well, he won't win any prizes. Sweet, I love you, but you were awful. I'd be a very bad judge if I didn't go with this audience. And I've got a very special award today. Goes to the most entertaining dog. The winner is Sweet. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no, no, Sadina! <laughs> oh, I understand we have a last minute dog performing in the main arena. It's Two Chickens Cadell! <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.